love this country and I love free speech. Today in San Francisco, a free speech rally came to an abrupt end. Tonight on ABC7, we hear from the organizer, now recovering from a punch that knocked out his teeth. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Dion Lim. Some well-known conservative personalities were on the agenda to speak at that rally today, but organizers canceled the event minutes after it started. Police say several people participating in the rally were injured, as well as three officers when they were sprayed with pepper spray. A warning now, some may find the following video disturbing. A witness captured the scene as a protester punched rally organizer Philip Anderson before his speech. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard has a look at how things quickly escalated. No Nazis, no KKK, no fascist USA. A large crowd of demonstrators gathered at UN Plaza to oppose a small group holding what was billed as a free speech rally, protesting what they say is Twitter's censorship of some of its content. They have no business being here. It's, it's, they're trying to build a fascist movement in this country. We The rally was granted a permit from the city. Some of the speakers expected included well-known President Trump supporters and conservative right personalities, but most never got the chance to be heard. <laughs> Tensions quickly escalated. Counter demonstrators taunted police. Sky 7 was overhead as some kicked barricades. Police wearing riot gear tried to protect the speakers from the crowd, but many threw bottles at the stage and shouted down the speakers. Before the event, the main organizer, Philip Anderson, said he was attacked and punched, knocking his front teeth out. Take a good look. You knocked the black man's teeth out. You knocked my teeth out. Minutes later, Anderson announced the rally was over. It's too bad it got canceled. It's too bad. But this is what happens when you lose free speech. This is what happens, America. This is what our country is turning into. Some counter demonstrators felt victorious. I think that the fact that they were outnumbered is, you know, is important. It's tough, right? Because I absolutely believe in free speech, but I'm also anti fascism. Rally organizers were escorted away by police. In San Francisco, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News. Police released a statement tonight about the incident saying, quote, demonstrators began throwing glass bottles, plastic bottles filled with unknown liquid, metal cans and eggs at free speech rally participants and law enforcement personnel. The rally became so violent in nature, it was declared a public safety hazard and was shut down. And new at 11 tonight, ABC 7 News I-Team reporter Dan Noyes talked to Philip Anderson, now recovering at home where he's staying. Why did you come here? The whole point right here. We don't have the right to peacefully protest, obviously. Okay? We don't have the right to free speech, and that's a fact. We don't have our First Amendment right. We don't have the right to peacefully protest, and that means we're no longer Americans. One of my teeth was knocked out, and then the other one was, like, dangling, and they had to uh, put shots in my mouth, and then they pulled that tooth. Hurt kind of bad, pretty bad, honestly. And um, they told me that the teeth... You know, you can't put them back in. You're going to have to get uh, replacements. 